Oh, all right. Good morning. So we have another short video today. <clears throat> I want to show you on how the electrolytic capacitors are affected by age and the time. I believe that this is an aftermarket unit, which was in my 560-89 model. And we have a PIC uh, microcontroller on here. Um, looks like it was made in Taiwan. Let me see if we can show it this way better. Well, it won't zoom. Let me see if I can zoom in like this here. There you go. Now we can see it is a 1654i industrial. It's a custom made part. Microchip makes microcontrollers, 8 bit 1632 now. And so. That has some software on it, and it is the logic for this. In this unit, we have the TD signal coming in from the EZL, and you have your temperature in here, and then the output to the uh, fan, I believe it is, and to the clutch of the compressor. And that is uh, regulated here with this relay, and, and then there's, I believe, one or two relays in the... Uh, uh, fuse box. But today what we want to take a look at is this capacitor here, this electrolytic capacitor here, and then the electrolytic capacitors over here on this corner. And uh, what you're going to see is, um, especially the larger values, they're going to have problems. And this unit is not even that old yet. And you can see it, we have a 10 volt, 100 microfarad in here. And when we look over here at our BK tester, I have a column here where it says 100, and in the blue, the maximum ESR we can have for this to be good is 0 0.4 ohms. And uh, let's see when we hook this up. Now, if a capacitor is really bad, then we're going to hear this. That's when a capacitor is basically shorted. So we're going to start with this here. We're going to put this on. So he has tested it and look how far we have. We have 2.5 ohms. So if we go up in this column here, 100, and we go up here until we meet 2.5, which is here, we're already in the red. And that means bad capacitor. Just to show you this, I have a new one here, which has a higher voltage rating. But those are special automotive, high-end automotive capacitors and they cost about 50 times as much as this part what you got on the circuit board here. So the cost difference between this capacitor here in volume and this here, these ones here, is 50 times higher because they're that much better. And I'm going to show you this. This is 100 microfarad, 50 volts. These are the ones I'm going to put in there, even though they're a little bit larger. And, um, oops. Let's see, it's difficult to do this all. So here we go, and we have 0 0.3 ohm, and we're in the blue. This is what this is supposed to look like. And then we have another capacitor up here. Uh, this is a 1 microfarad 63 volts. And then again, for 1 microfarad, we would be here in this line. So you can see the blue extends much higher. They can have much higher ESRs. And then we will see where we are with this here. Let me see that I find it. We're in the correct spot. <clears throat> I have to order the one microfarads. I don't have them here. Yeah, and you can see this. We're already in the uh, gray area where they say suspected eight. So you follow this up here from one and you go up here to eight, you're already in the middle. Up here it's bad, up down here it's low. So we're in the process of deteriorating. And this is what you have to do basically with every computer, every piece of electronic which has capacitors in there, you have to basically check this. And the reason why is this, um, this capacitor for instance here sits on the circuit four. Now, not that I'm gonna lie to you here. Uh, well, I don't know exactly which one it goes to. But we have the TD signal, for instance, coming in there, which goes to the base, I believe, of this transistor through the uh, thing here. And this big transistor is the voltage stabilizer to get the voltage signal or the whole signal cleaned up and stabilized uh, for the AD converter to read probably or the pulse width monitor, uh, 
the input which reads the pulse width modulation coming out of the EZL for the RPM. TD is basically your RPM. It's a 50-50 signal. On-off ratio is 50-50, but it will increase in frequency. And as higher the RPM is, as higher the frequency is. And if these capacitors are bad, they will interfere and offset and throw off the count for the RPM. So these things <clears throat> are filter capacitors, primarily stabilizers, and uh, to average analog signals if you need it. To, and when they go bad, the entire AD conversion either goes off or you get a bad signal. Say like <clears throat> you have noise um, coming in on that sensor line from the ignition system and so far and so on because the ignition system is not working right anymore. Then this will be picked up and can no longer filter and you get wrong readings. So this is besides everything else. I started with the climate unit. Uh, because it is really the simple one of the simplest ones in there. And it could be easily tested and repaired since everything is through hole. Um, if a power transistor fails, it is most likely this one here, the FET. I'm not quite sure exactly what he switches or what they're doing with it. That's probably for the relay or one of the relay outputs. And um, that will probably activate the fan. Uh, it drives something of a higher load and the much higher loads, bigger loads are driven by that relay. And that is all turned on with these transistors here. This is something to regulate, to test. These capacitors here, these ceramic ones we have on here, they usually don't go bad. And because of the very low uh, persistence, which I cannot test here, they would have to be actually tested with this circuit being alive. And you have to get a schematic with voltage test points and signal test points for the oscilloscope to actually verify this because they will probably pull the signal to ground, shorten it, and make it smaller, or they fail to let something go through, and then you have no signal coming out on the other side, either one of the two. That's usually how they they are usually hooked up to ground or in line in series to filter or to, to block DC or to modify or build a filter, basically. RC filters most likely. So that gives you an idea. This is the starting point. I'm going to replace these two. This one I have to order here. This one I'm going to put the bigger one. Or I'm going to go to Nichicon and order the smaller versions for those here because I don't need a 50 volt in there. Usually the Europeans or the Germans used to use 63 volts instead of 50. And that had to do with the, uh, no, I forgot it. Let's see. Um, well, I can't remember anyway. But that has to do with the voltage increases in the threshold. So you could uh, hook up a 63 volt capacitor on a 50 volt circuit and you have enough headroom. I think that's what that was basically. Okay, <clears throat> we will post it and we will keep you posted. Have a great day.